Hello, I'm Patrick with Lone Wolf Software, and this demo is going to show you how easy it is to create a vehicle in Automotive Wolf and configure the car maintenance schedule. And we can do this in literally seconds, but it'll take a few minutes today to do it, just so I can show you a few features as we go along. So right now, what you see is uh, you see Automotive Wolf on your screen, and we have a Mazda sample vehicle that's currently loaded, and we're under the maintenance tab, so you see some maintenance items. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, create a vehicle here. So uh, this is really easy to do. and uh, Just click on the Create button and you're presented with a little window here where you enter some information that's required to create a vehicle. Now as you notice there are some, uh, some uh, options here in red and uh, if you click on any red text in any of the windows in Automotive Wolf it's going to open up a, um, a number pad that lets you enter numerical, uh, numerical data very easily. It makes it really fast, quick and easy. So uh, we'll, we'll use that option in, uh, while we create this vehicle here. First we will create, we'll uh, select the make. So let's uh, create, let's say, uh, how about a Ford Mustang today? So you select Ford, then the uh, models are automatically loaded. And you scroll on down, you select Mustang, and we'll make it a 2011 Mustang. All right, so now we're going to click on this red text current odometer, and uh, we'll enter an odometer. We'll just make it an approximation. We'll say this vehicle has uh, currently 10,000 miles on it. And now, we'll, we'll see, miles per year driven. Again, we'll just approximate. Uh, most people drive their cars 10 to 15,000 miles per year. So we'll enter a 10,000 for this. And you can change all these values later. I'm just approximating now. Uh, approximate miles per gallon. We'll say our Mustang gets about 20 miles per gallon, and the approximate fuel cost per gallon Right now in this area, it's about 385 a gallon. And there's one other piece of information we need to enter here uh, for insurance. They want to know uh, the insurance cost per year. The reason this is entered is because Automotive Wolf does a uh, in-depth uh, co uh, cost analysis of all your operating costs. So we'll enter a uh, let's say an insurance value of $1,000 per year to insure this vehicle. Now there's a lot of other tabs here for information you can enter. Really a myriad of information, and. Uh, it's good to enter all that information, but for today, just to save time, I think uh, we've entered enough. We've entered everything that's really required to create the vehicle, so we'll go ahead and create it. So we click OK. And you're next presented uh, with a uh, window here where you're going to configure the maintenance schedule. Now, Automotive Wolf's maintenance requirements are generic requirements, and we do recommend that you go through your owner's manual for, uh, for your, with your car and uh, just match the uh, manufacturer's recommended car maintenance schedule to the car maintenance schedule in Automotive Wolf and it's really easy to do you just open up your own owner's manual and just go through it and you just make a few changes everything in Automotive Wolf all the requirements all everything for maintenance uh, can be easily edited and you can create new requirements you can disable them it's really easy to work with and very fast so it's, it really just takes a few minutes to to match it to your car uh, car owner's manual now what we have here in, uh, in this screen is you get to pick from uh, four different maintenance schedules. You have a basic low maintenance schedule, a medium typical maintenance setting, full high maintenance setting, and then you have a minimum one where you just basically do it all yourself. So just to save time today, we're going to choose the uh, medium typical maintenance setting. Now this will load some maintenance requirements. The ones in yellow are uh, inspections. The ones in red are, ma are maintenance items like uh, change oil changes, uh, replace your spark plugs, rotate your tires, etc. So they take a little more time. Um, some of these, some of these requirements, uh, you see here, do now, do now. Uh, they're due because we're creating a vehicle that's got 10,000 miles on it, and there's no information for previous maintenance done on this vehicle. So, any items that are due in less than 10,000 miles, like for instance, an oil change is usually due every 3,000 miles. They're going to show up as due now. Now you can enter some things. You can actually uh, edit this, these things now by just right-clicking, configure it, and you can push this back. If you disagree with that, and you, let's say you just did an oil change a thousand miles ago, you can push this back until, let's say, it's, we're at 10,000 miles on this vehicle, you can push it back to 12,000. So you can go through these now and do this, but I prefer to do it after uh, I've actually created the vehicle because once the vehicle is created in the database, it's very easy just to click on the maintenance requirements and edit them and ch make any changes that you want. So for now, we're just going to accept uh, this, uh, this medium typical maintenance setting, and we'll click OK. Uh, I'm finished configuring this vehicle. and we will see that a vehicle has now been created in the Automotive Wolf database. And here's our Ford 2011 Mustang. Now right now we have the maintenance tab selected, so of course it's going to be empty since we don't have any maintenance items that have ever been entered for the vehicle. So what we'll do is we'll first go to the What's Due tab. And what we see here are the What's Due, uh, the, the maintenance requirements that are due now for the vehicle. And as I said, 
this vehicle has 10,000 miles on it, so there's going to be some things due. So we'll we'll go through a couple of them here and just uh, push them back and configure them. Since uh, let's say we disagree, also you see a couple gauges over here that are being monitored. Uh, one's uh, the antifreeze coolant check level, and one is the oil check level. So let's go ahead and uh, edit this oil check level uh, inspection. Now again, the uh, yellow ones are inspections, the red ones are uh, other maintenance items that take a little more time. So just click on the oil check level. We're going to modify this one. So right click on it, select. Uh, edit selected requirement and again we have these this red text so you just click on it and since our vehicle is at 10,000 miles let's push this back to 12,000 miles so you just enter 12,000 very simple very fast and easy and this uh, maintenance requirements in a automotive wolf can be due by either time or distance or both in this case it's uh, both so let's push back the due date by a couple weeks too so uh, that's easy to do just select the date and right now we have it being res rescheduled every 500 miles in seven days and all the maintenance requirements in Automotive Wolf, uh, once they're due and you satisfy the requirement, it's automatically rescheduled for you. So you don't have to do anything. It's very simple. It'll just automatically reschedule according to whatever parameters you've entered. Uh, so we'll click OK, and we'll see that uh, that oil uh, check level has disappeared because right now we're looking at what's due now. You'd have to click on this pending option, and there you see it. So it's now gone to pending because it's, it's uh, going to be due in the future. So let's go back to what's due now. And you also see that the oil check level gauge is now green and all these gauges that monitor maintenance requirements in automotive wolf uh, they are functional gauges and uh, as time goes by and, and uh, you approach the due date or do or do odometers for some of your requirements you're going to see the gauges of course moving to the right and changing color when you see a red gauge like you do here on this antifreeze coolant one you know that it's due so not all the requirements have gauges and uh, you can create a gauge for any requirement you can create a, your own requirement and put a gauge in there the gauges are just useful and I usually use for the ones that the maintenance that you think is really really important and, uh, of course the oil is one of those so a lot of a lot of people use them for oil okay so let's say uh, we, you can go through all these requirements uh, through the pending and the do now and you can make changes since we're just configuring it this is when you would open up your owner's manual and just go through some of them just configure this vehicle the way you want it again just takes a few minutes to, to make these changes you can see it's very quick you just right click on them and you can either uh, you can disable it which will just make it disappear or you can uh, you know edit the, the requirement and push it back however you like uh, in this case uh, I think what we'll do is uh, let's say we've just um, checked the power steering fluid uh, let's say we did that yesterday so it's really simple to uh, to get rid of this if you don't want to set it back you just double click on it and that opens up a maintenance maintenance screen here where basically this is where you enter any maintenance you've done to the vehicle and you see it's already filled out with the one that you double clicked on power steering fluid check level the odometer the current odometer is also automatically entered so it's you literally can just put, uh, click OK and we'll just do that now you can you can link other additional maintenance items by clicking on this tab. You can see you can pick other maintenance items here. We won't do that now. You can even do a, you can even scan in an invoice and attach the invoice, link it to this record, uh, which is very useful. So very powerful uh, things you can do with the with the maintenance records. But in this case, uh, we'll just say we just did the inspection yesterday. So let's backdate it since it's 5-2. We can backdate it just by clicking here. Say so we did it yesterday. Click OK, and you can see that that requirement has disappeared and is, is now going to go to pending so here's the power steering fluid and you see it's been set into the future according to those parameters that, that are set for that requirement let's go back to the do now and if you go to the maintenance tab you'll see it's automatically been entered in your maintenance log so here's a power steering fluid it was checked yesterday as we since we backdated it so you see it's very easy to uh, to satisfy requirements as there as they become due you, you can just come, go in here and you can just double click on any of them it'll open it up and then if you want to link let's say you're doing two or three things together you just click on this link additional maintenance tab click on the add button and you can move other other requirements let's say you've done that on that same maintenance level check you can just move them over to the right and all these things will be automatically added to your uh, your maintenance record your maintenance log and also automatically rescheduled for you so again very very simple to do and anybody anybody can do this it's very very fast very very easy to do uh, one other thing I'd like to show here, uh, it's very uh, powerful in Automotive Wolf, is uh, click on this Configure Maintenance Requirements button right here. And you see you have a, a, a screen here that, that allows you to look at all the maintenance requirements for the vehicle that you have selected. Now It's split into two, and on the left side, these requirements are requirements that are currently disabled for the vehicle. And then on the right, we have the requirements that are currently enabled for the vehicle. And this is a really good way if you want to quickly configure a vehicle and make some changes. If you want a requirement that's currently enabled to be disabled, 
So let's say we pick the replace timing belt. You simply click it, move it to the left, and it's gone. It's no longer being considered in your maintenance schedule. And if you likewise, if you want to move something and make it from a disabled to enabled, let's say the inspect CV boots and joints, you just move it right, and now it's enabled. And you can actually go in and click on it, and you know change the parameters. So uh, another nice option I should mention here is you can create your own requirements. So. You just uh, click here under description, and let's say our Mustang has a turbo, and we want to check that every now and then. So uh, you just enter check turbo, whatever your description might be. Click add, and you see it show up here in blue. The user defined requirements are in blue. Click on it and move it to the right. Now you see it on the right side, so it's been enabled. Now if you click on it, down here you'll see the current, these are the default parameters for it. And you should change these so that they suit your personal preferences. So right now it's going to be rescheduled every 10,000 miles. So let's say, okay, we want it to be rescheduled every 20,000 miles. So just enter 20,000. And three, every 365 days, that looks good. Next, do it 10,000 miles, which is now. So let's say we don't want it to right now. We want to push that out to the future. So we'll say, let's have it do it 20,000 miles. Enter. And then uh, the due date, or let's push that back maybe six months. And enter there. Now these requirements, as I said, they can be based on distance and time, and you or both. This one we're use we're basing it on both uh, mileage and time. That time has passed, but you can also select one. And we, you know you can also add. Uh, let's say we'll add a gauge for it, and we'll add an alarm for it. Apply the changes. Okay, I'm finished. And let's see here. Go back to the what's due, and we're going to know that since we set this into the future, it'll be pending. And here you see the check turbo. Uh, requirement that you just created is going to be due in the future and as you can see it's due at 20,000 miles and uh, at, um, six months into the future. Also we added a gauge and you can see the gauge here, the check turbo gauge and it's currently green because uh, um, basically uh, it's not due to, uh, it's due in the near future but not due right now so uh, that gauge will of course change colors and start moving towards red as time goes by. So let's go back to the due now. As you can see automotive is really really easy to use and, you, and uh, it's very very fast to configure a vehicle and get it set up. Uh, one other thing I'd like to show, I think, is the uh, specs option, which has been recently added. Uh, specs are basically manufacturer specs, and uh, we just created this for it, so let's click on the specs tab. And right now, it's searching through the uh, Automotive Wolf database. And this is a database that comes from the manufacturer, so let's give it a couple seconds here to search. It's looking for Mustangs, Ford Mustangs 2011, and uh, whatever it finds, it's going to display in a window, and you can select the one that matches your engine. Uh, so hopefully we'll find a Ford Mustang 2011 here. Let's give it a couple seconds. Still searching. And let's see what it finds here. Okay. There we go. Alright, it's found two. And uh, we'll choose the GT500 engine. So you just select it, click OK. And there you go. There's all the specs for your car. And uh, this is specific to your car. So you can see it has the car length, the car height, and uh, brake horsepower, torque. And nice thing here in the, spe in the spec section, you can right click and you can add specs. So you can open up your owner's manual. If there's something in there that you want to write down, whether it's the paint color or whatever, whatever it is, you can uh, enter those te technical specs and then they're always available here for you. So they're easy to find. Okay, so uh, Automotive Wolf obviously is a very powerful program. There's a lot of options and there's a lot of features here. But today we were just going to go over the, uh, the creation of a vehicle and how you configure the car maintenance. And I think you can see it's really simple and very, very easy to do. And then uh, once you get it configured, uh, you basically just leave it and forget it. Uh, nice thing about Automotive Wolf, it, it will remind you when anything is due. It's going to has an option to send you email reminders automatically, and that's without even opening the program. You can set it up so that email reminders are sent and checked every time you boot up your computer. It just does it in the background, and if it finds anything that's due, it's just going to automatically send you an email. Uh, email just show up in your mailbox. It can also um, show you a, a display, a little message on your screen that says change the oil, whatever's due, it'll give you a little message and alert. And again, it'll do that on boot up if you want it to, or when you just or when you open the program, it's really up to you. So the reminders are going to be automatically rescheduled for you and they'll keep you from forgetting things. And I think most of us know that with cars, it's best to keep up on your maintenance schedule or you could be facing some big repair bills and some big headaches. All right, well, that will do it for this uh, demo today. Um, look for more demos in the future. Thank you for listening.